Hello. Good to see you. All right, there, Revenants. Welcome back to Code Vein in the Road to 100, where today we are going to start a uh, gifts-only run, and it'll be a little bit different. Uh, we'll we'll bring along our partners just for having them along. Mostly, it'll just be Eva uh, accompanying me on my road here with the gifts only but uh we'll it'll be more of like uh gifts only as our attacking setup and stuff um and recovering icor and everything so we had a lot of fun when we did our gifts only and um we never actually did it here on the max difficulty so we're gonna see uh how it uh, how things operate when you have you know enormous amounts of dark and light value when you have all the best uh veils and weapons and well, not really weapons, but all the best veils and gifts and combinations of everything that you can have and all the codes and all of that. So uh, we'll see how it goes here. Um, I'm expecting it to go pretty quick uh, overall, um, just because uh, most of the bosses in the game can be casted very, very simply and easily. And so uh, I expect this to be um, a lot of fun and a lot of enjoyable um, slaughtering as we go along the way here. And uh, this should go uh, very, very, very nicely. Now, uh, before we get ahead of ourselves, we want to go for the Dusk Edge here. Because a Dusk Edge is amazing. Or uh, something of this uh, particular sort here. And uh, that's basically all we're going to run here at the moment is Dusk Edge. So that'll be very nice. We can just uh, run around and do this uh, all the way through to Oliver. So we will... Uh, make sure we uh, go for everybody here. Okay. And uh, sometimes it's not uh, worth it to actually lock on to the enemy. Whoops, where am I going? Because uh, the slash uh, goes above their head and such. And so sometimes it's just better to run up with the slashes and not even do uh, anything. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Alright. Uh, apparently he hits you all the way to the edge. And as your pair... As your... Uh, character is standing up you uh, fly off the edge so uh, very very good to know there all right so let's uh, do that again and uh, good grief that was kind of annoying okay so one and two good job Eva okay and uh, what we're going to do uh, as we get to Oliver we will punish him uh, pretty hard as well uh, it will be a fun a little encounter with him, so we will uh, just kind of save that uh, for the moment. Whoops. Okay, can't lock on, apparently. Alright, and this guy is gonna, yep, gonna <laughs> run up and try and uh, slap us in the face again, but uh, we will not let that happen. Okay, and here maybe we can get everybody. Nope. I thought we were gonna be able to get everybody there, but uh, that wasn't the case. So uh, really what we're going for here in the first area, obviously, is going to be just um, get through these guys as fast as possible and slap everything around as hard as we can so that way we can, uh, you know, get to Oliver quick. And uh, that was a, a point where it would have been nice to not have uh, locked on there, but rather... Uh, thanks, Eva but rather actually just slash through the guys. Okay, so good enough to get through the first part here. Um, and uh, you can you can see that uh, once you get to the later uh, stages of, you know, more than one playthrough and you have these and you have these abilities to actually pair up together in some pretty uh, crazy wacky ways here. Uh, you can absolutely just run through Pretty much everything. I mean, I am trying to go uh, kind of fast here, um, but uh, I'm not like taking my good sweet time. But at the same time, uh, we're definitely going to uh, just kind of burn our way as fast as we can through through this area, specifically all all the areas actually. But uh, really, 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 just trying to uh, get through. And uh, uh, yeah, you can see that even these big guys. Um, you know, Dusk Edge is pretty much all you need for the, uh, first area of the game here. Okay. And, uh, typically when you're using the Blade Gifts, you don't really want to be locking on to the enemy, um, just because of the fact that, uh, uh, it's, uh, kind of, uh, dangerous, uh, because, uh, sometimes you will miss, 
Uh, and as you can see there, um, we do have really, really good control if we just use the gift outright because it will always, um, you know, slash directly in front of you. So uh, kind of keep that in mind if you're going for uh, different gifts and stuff. Um, you want to make sure that you're uh, using them in like the best way possible that you know how. And uh, it'll, it'll make for a much, much, much better interaction of how you're going about uh, actually engaging with the enemy. Okay, so actually what we could be doing instead of uh, getting 10 i core on this, we could go for life steal so we get he uh, health back every time we kill an enemy, and we're not really getting focused too much, so we could go for this to get 10% more uh, damage. And uh, not that that's, You're you know, not one. that we need more damage or whatever, this and that, blah, 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 but it'll actually just help um, with the idea of, you know, getting health back uh, using your using your gifts and such and uh, continuing to get health uh, along the way here okay and you can see there that it uh, does very very well so we get uh, one kill and then we get five percent health back so that's really really great okay all right and then here uh, we'll go for this and then this okay good job Eva Alright, and... Oh, Eva's killing everything. I thought we were going to be able to kill that uh, big boy in one hit, but it wasn't the case. Um, but again, you can see that uh, really all you need is Dusk Edge. Uh, we probably should have hit that guy with a uh, Ember Reversal, but that's okay, we didn't, and who cares? I mean, Eva got the kill just just fine, and uh, we are able to continue uh, moseying on through here. I guess we can pick up this missile too. Um, and I think we'll, I think we'll go ahead and rest, um, just for the, uh, sense that, you know, we're, uh, back up, or we're up to the fullest level top possible that we can have before moving through. So, Running Queen here, I thought it would just be a good, a good fun, uh, build, a, a good fun code to run, just because of the fact of how, um, it's kind of a, it's kind of a rare blood code, in a sense, because, uh, you have to do so much actually go ahead and unlock it by getting a perfect ending um, and getting all the EOS vestiges and restoring all the successors and so on and so forth so it's kind of a it's kind of an interesting um, blood code altogether but uh, definitely worth um, you know actually uh, knowing about but uh, overall it's a really 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 good uh, gift gift uh, blood code overall Okay, so many of them, but uh, we got all of our health back pretty much in that uh, one attack there, because that got us 15% of our health back, which is super excellent. Okay, so now as we get, that's right, as we get into Oliver, Inja's Coil, and uh, we will go for a couple of things here, uh, be just before we get into the fight. Okay, let's go ahead and heal. Good. And this. Good. And uh, we don't really need life steal anymore, so let's go for a dark impulse because uh, you can get focused pretty easily on Oliver. Okay, and yeah, I think we're I think we're good to go here. Um, okay, let's do that and then heal. We're okay, to the and then uh, give to accelerator. All right, Oliver, let's go, buddy. And this will go uh, pretty quick here. Um, Alright, and uh, let's go ahead and uh, get a little more uh, health uh, eye core here. Alright, Oliver, right, goodbye. Okay, so yeah, gifts only, uh, max difficulty. Uh, even though he had about 80,000 HP, um, being at, um, at max level and having max gifts and all the interactions and all the uh, weapons and uh, fails and codes and everything at your disposal, uh, you can actually burn through these guys uh, really, really quick. Um, so kind of keep that in mind <laughs> as, uh, you know, if you think, well, maybe maybe later on in the game you want to you wanna do something where, uh, you know, it's gifts only or whatever and try it as a challenge, it might be a good warm-up for you uh, just to actually think about, um, you know, what kind of interactions uh, you're looking for and what kind of gifts you're looking for and so on and so forth. 
um, it can really, really, really help you, um, you know, think about the kind of mindset you need to work into. But even though we have Eva along, she's not, she's uh, definitely making somewhat of a difference in aggro, but she's not making that much of a difference in the actual damage output that she's got going on. So um, it's not something, you know, that we really need to worry about uh, long term. All right, Louis, let's go. Okay, so um, we're only a little bit in here, so I think we'll uh, I think we'll go uh, we'll continue on here for the um, for the butterfly. And so for the butterfly, uh, you need fire slash. So we will do all these wonderful good uh, fire things. But uh, before that, we will need to go for um, all the enemies through uh, through this level here. So. We'll go for a couple of really good gifts here, and then we will um, move into uh, everything we need to. So uh, it's fun to actually fight these guys along the way because you can uh, pretty much annihilate anyone and everyone. Okay, and I don't need Louis. I, I want Eva. Because I can, I will. All right, and uh, just to make our life easier here, we will uh, move through uh, these areas. Uh, pretty quick as you can see uh, whoops this way mm -hmm. a lot of twisty turny uh, kind of hallways here uh, make for um, not the best uh, kind of interaction for lightning charge but uh, it uh, it works out good enough all right good okay all right I guess uh, we'll zoom our way on up here okay and then we will uh we'll pick up uh dusk edge so much here. I'm afraid okay. you no eva we're we're good um so yeah we can uh, burn Thanks. through these guys uh whoops uh pretty pretty quickly pretty easily here uh okay we'll go for uh, this guy first okay and you can see again uh dusk edge is really 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 good here um Oh, come on, he didn't hit me. How in the world did he hit me? We have a uh, life steal going on here? No. Uh, life steal. Good, and I don't need this. Uh, so let's go for. Um, sure, let's go for more I Core camp here. I mean, why not? Okay. Good. Oh, I didn't hit him. Unfortunate. Okay. Good. All right, and we are getting back a, we are getting back one I core uh, every now and then, um, just because of the fact that we are using uh, five I core to kill these guys, and we're using uh, six I core to recover. Okay, and now that uh, um, cleansing light is over, we're gonna need that again. Uh, obviously, because that is where our uh, immense ability comes from here. Good. And so, uh, every six recoveries, uh, we're able to... Uh, maybe we can get both of these guys to come over to us uh, equally. Or Eva's gonna kill that guy. Okay. So that was uh, pretty sad there. I would have been nice to uh, get two guys uh, for one hit. Okay. We just can't get hit anymore. Good. All right, and then we're here for uh, this lady. Uh, this will be uh, pretty bad here. That uh, we don't really have uh, any of the I core that we need, so we'll definitely have to uh, use some of our uh, other uh, gifts here. Okay, and uh, as you can see, uh, gifts only late game or gifts only. Um, like new uh, like extra games uh, beyond the first run of the game it actually uh, becomes a lot easier for how you actually engage the enemy because you typically will have anything and everything you'll need for a uh, whoops for a good interaction um, with each of the enemies that you come across okay and as we get up into uh, these guys obviously uh, Oh, whoops, Dusk Edge again is going to be amazing. Okay. Yep, good job, Eva. 
And let's see if we can get the dogs to come around here. Good, because we'll try and go for, like, all of them at once. Okay, we got two. That's good. Okay, and come, nope. Only got, only got uh, one there. Good. Okay, so we uh, did recover quite a bit of, uh, quite a bit of i -Core there. Okay, so let's get you, you, you. Okay, we only got two, but we're back up to full health, so that's good enough. Okay, good. Alright, and we're doing pretty well here. Uh, keeping up with the uh, damage requirements. Okay, good. And yeah, this is why uh, you're able to uh, absolutely obliterate uh, everyone here along the way. Uh, just because of the fact that you're able to slash through uh, multiple, multiple enemies here uh, very, very easily and quickly uh, all at once to be able to, you know, do whatever you need uh, whenever you need it. And obviously we're going to do uh, the invasion here because uh, it's kind of required at this point. Okay. Did we get him? Okay, good. We got two guys for one uh, blade there. Okay. Good. Okay, good. We got two. Okay, where is he? Uh, that was not uh, not good. Okay, where are they? There, there, there they are. Okay. Oh, two dogs. Oh, missed this dog. That's unfortunate. Oh, missed that dog. Okay. Good. Alright, let's see, where are they? There's this guy coming in here. There's these guys coming in here. Oh, we get both? Okay, so that's that invasion. Uh, very, very good. And uh, that's that's how you know that you're uh, a little bit uh, up to powered here. Okay, good job, Eva. Um, is the fact that uh, you can literally burst an invasion uh, very, very, very quickly. And definitely need to go for cleansing light again. And that is the beauty of uh, what we have running here, is that uh, we can absolutely get everybody uh, at once, pretty much, with uh, just a couple of gifts. Um, and you can actually uh, burst uh, everyone down here in these uh, first areas, um, just because of the fact that uh, you are very, very powerful uh, along the way. And that, it, and that makes for a really good time, good time. and a lot of fun to be able to, you know, make up these uh, shots and stuff in these uh, different areas versus these different enemies. Okay. Oh, what? That was weird. Okay. Okay. Oh, come on. I got that dog. Why didn't I get that kill? Okay. Uh, apparently the blade did not go as far as I wanted it to. That's okay. Uh, we'll just uh, continue on our way here, and uh, we can get these guys, maybe? Uh, nope, can't get both of them. Okay. Uh, but that's how you know that uh, you you need just that little bit extra, is when uh, you, you start getting into these little areas here where um, you actually need to uh, have a little bit more damage and a little bit more range. But uh, if you if you are good with your uh, icor management, uh, you can do very very well. Okay, and you can see there that uh, we do pretty well with our uh, management of icor here. Okay, and we can cut him down. And uh, when you have these big groups of enemies like this, it does uh, very 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 well to uh, have a slashing gift like this because you can uh, sweep pretty wide and get uh, multiple multiple enemies at once like that uh, and it makes for some pretty good quick uh, quick kills hello there we go Thanks. okay okay we'll take care of this guy first we'll hit this guy then we'll kill him good and uh, I'm curious if we should just take our uh, risk and move across the bridge uh, outright, but I think we'll uh, I think we'll go for the uh, run back here just uh, just to be safe, and uh, then we'll be able to uh, 
uh, head up to the butterfly and destroy her pretty quickly as well. Okay. Uh, door opened. Very good. Okay. And let's go for cleansing light so we get as much efficiency out of our um, healing and our code here as possible. Now we only have four heals left, so let's go here for uh, improved regeneration. So that'll be very, very good. We'll get a 40% increase for no reason, really. And see, we can uh, kill these fellas uh, pretty easily here with uh, Merciless Reaper and um, Blast Bolt. I mean, obviously, we have end game sort of things here at the be at the beginning of the level and stuff, but uh, that's okay. It uh, it's well worth it, as as you can see, obviously. There we go. All right. Not really. A Queen Iron is mm, below my uh, interest levels at this point. Okay. Definitely uh, get Ikeware while we can. Okay. Good. Alright. Now that uh, is a very worthwhile endeavor there to uh, slap her pretty hard uh, to make sure that uh, there's no coming back from that. Okay, and you... And Blast Bolt in this area is uh, pretty much your uh, go-to uh, gift just because of how much uh, damage it does and uh, how effective it is. Flower Seeds, very good. And we do need a whole lot of Icor here. Okay. And here she comes. And let's go ahead and get ready to uh, rumble with her. Okay, and that should take her down. Very good. And you can uh, see here as well that uh, Queen, it's basically everything you would want in a... Uh, in a uh, full-on gift code and uh, there's really no reason to hang out and kill any of the enemies left through here because you would run past anyways and uh, get to the butterfly so um, this setup uh, does very very well for the butterfly um, or for really anything that you're trying to do um, just because of the fact that uh, you're able to um, do really really high damage you know, anywhere and everywhere uh, during any of the fights. Okay, so uh, since she's weak to slash and fire, we go for slash and fire specifically. Uh, so we should be okay here as long as Eva doesn't hit that guy's shield. Come on, Eva. This cocoon is unreal. Yes, it's well, it's it's kind of real. Okay, and uh, let's go uh, all the way up here. And uh, yeah, these are gonna be good here for uh, the butterfly fight. All right, and we'll uh, grab up a gift accelerator here, and uh, we should be uh, more than ample ready for this fight. And uh, even though we don't have uh, poison resist or anything like that, uh, that's completely fine. Okay, and you can see there that uh, with uh, Eva active here, um, we'll be uh, more than uh, ready. Uh, to damage her and take her on. So that'll be nice. That'll be real nice. Okay. Okay. Alright. Okay. Ouch. Okay, and that should be the butterfly. Okay, so yeah, again, gifts only. I mean, we didn't do it no hit only or whatever. But uh, if you're running gifts only, uh, these bosses uh, late game, even though this is, again, max difficulty and everything, and these bosses can be very problematic. But when you run, uh, you know, late, uh, late, late, late game uh, here uh, with running just gifts only and no weapons, it actually goes much faster than if you're actually running weapons, except for like one shot builds and stuff like that. So anyways, uh, I guess that's episode one with two areas and two bosses and everything. So. Uh, we'll be moving through these kind of quick, but uh, this should be a lot of fun just to see some of these crazy uh, whacked out gifts only builds uh, for going against these bosses. So uh, we'll see you guys in the despot and the executioner next probably. So we'll see you then.